can see in this video uh, the stepper motors are too small and uh, the motors are stalling and uh, the computer don't know where the axes are in in real life so um, this makes the cutting uh, quite impossible so the first problem I have to address is all the stepper motors these are NEMA 17s uh, I used NEMA 17s on uh, all the axes the first thing I have to do then is to change all the stepper motors to the NEMA 23 the size difference is quite big but uh, what's good is that when I made the CNC machine I took in count changing the stepper motors so all the stepper motors uh, is possible to change to bigger motors as you can see I have not locked the design to one stepper motor size that's the first problem I have to address the second problem is uh, a follow problem when I change the stepper motors my CNC shield might be too small for the motors I know the, the, the motor here uh, the highest current is 2.8 amperes and I don't know if the CNC shield is big enough to support that high current so I have ordered some other stepper motor controllers called TB6560 that are manufactured for 3 ampere current I will leave a link in the description I'm going to control those controllers with the Arduino and or the CNC shield I'm not sure I have to look at that when I get that far okay then the um, third problem I have to address is the y-axis I have only used these uh, rails they are non supported rails the problem with this these rails are that they are bending no force at all and they are bending uh, this makes the machine very uh, uncalibrated so I have to change those rails with some 600 millimeter supported rails uh, I bought this on Banggood I will leave a link in the description so I'm going to use these rails on the y-axis like this I hope that will fix the, the problem with the y-axis wobbling when the router is uh, moving in its toolpath the fourth problem I have to address are these back plates they are good as plates but uh, the problem with this wood is that it's not straight so I have some problems uh, when I'm tightening all the screws for the linear bearings on the rails uh, when I do that I also make it not straight so the linear bearings won't glide on the rails like they should the same with the plate for the set C axis I don't know if you can see it but uh, the plate do have some bend in it that is no good my plan there is to use this material it's called plexiglass material it's 1.2 centimeters thick it's sturdy as yeah it's very hard and straight I think I'll use that material for both the y-axis plate and the set axis plate c-axis set axis I don't know call it what you want and then I come to the fifth problem I have to address here we have the lead screw for the x-axis these are the x-axis supported rails that's all good from the lead screw and the backlash nut and up to the set axis uh, rails I use this uh, steel plate with these corners okay the problem with this uh, you, you can see when I'm, I'm trying to pull the c-axis back and forth you can see it moving quite a lot
those are the problems I have to address in my next videos. I have some tinkering to do also with the settings uh, on the GRLB, uh, on the GRB L and the stepper motor controllers and the Arduino. So I hope you enjoy watching. Uh, maybe you would like to subscribe. Maybe you would like to like the video. Uh, and maybe you would like to dislike. Anyway, comment below if you have any questions about my projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.